White colours of Milburn there with with uh, magic time. She might end up getting the absolute gun run. Oh, Bruce, it's a magic, magic race for Emma, TJ Smith. Emma, your thought? I am with I Wish I Win, but I reckon the big fella upstairs loves his racing. He let us race today on this heavy eight track after 220 mils of rain, and this would mean a lot to Annabelle Neesham and their team after a really tough week. Sunshine in Paris. It would be a little sunshine on what's been gloomy. Lizzie, final thought? Yeah, I hope Emma's spot okay. on. With that young Italian boy, that young boy that lost his life, and you could tell that Annabelle was absolutely bereft still. So two to come up, and Annabelle mentioned Tommy Smith, and I'm glad she did because this race is named after the remarkable trainer. Look at this filly who's won 10 group ones. Eyes are covered, sweat pouring down her. Can she win an 11th today? It's a great test. The great sprinters win this. It has become the really big championship race of the autumn for the sprinters. Here we go. One more to come in. Buenas noches. He's Sustayan. He joins him. Here's Darren Flindell. Uh, TJ Smith Stakes. Territory is the favourite. And we're ready to run. Blindfold off the mare, racing. She jumped out with them. Marzu's handled the start quite well. This is a good rush for the lead. Bella Nipotina, Cole Crusher there, and Imperatory settles fourth. Chain of Lightning up the fence. Followed then by half cabin, Sunshine in Paris, Driss back. Magic times there on the rails from Johnny Rocker, and I wish I went in a three-wide position, cluttered up. Sunshine in Paris goes back from Willinga Beast. Then came Buenos Notches, and Espiona is last of all. It's Marzu and Cole Crusher. Bella Nipotina splitting the pair in third. Then came Chain of Lightning, and Peritrees in the right spot, half cabin, keeping her company. And Zach just moves up on the outside to keep her in a pocket, in Peritrees. I wish I went, gets onto the back of half cabin followed them by Johnny Rocker and Magic Time coming into the straight now and Cole Crusher move to a narrow lead. Bella Nipotina it's go time for Bella. Up the inside is Chain of Lightning. Chain of Lightning the grey and Bella Nipotina Magic Time running on. Imperatrix grinding. I wish I win. Is starting to launch his attack and then came Sunshine in Paris. Chain of Lightning Bella Nipotina. Chain of Lightning Bella Nipotina. Chain of Lightning kicking. Chain of Lightning's won the TJ beating Bella Bella Nipotina, and I wish I win. Imperatrice close up. Espiona flashing home, then sunshine in Paris, magic time. Further back to Johnny Rocker from Walinga Beast, Buenos Notches. A gap to the pacemakers, Marzu, Cole Crusher, and aft cabin was last to finish. So it's Peter Moody and Catherine Coleman who get that group one, but it's not where we were probably looking. She hadn't won a race in 12 starts before she won the birthday card. Favourite in the Golden Eagle, remember? a couple of seasons back and chain of lightning today with frosty lane for peter and catherine so they get a group one for the first time today what a race it was lizzie look left right and center five winning chances here with 100 meters to go it was a great ride bruce he just put her right on the bunny he wasn't letting anything get past her we thought i wish i win was going to really rattle home there was horses from the back as well espiona ran a mighty race you could see that imperatrice at the top of the straight just wasn't quite comfortable couldn't quite get out she got out she didn't really sort of empty out like we wanted her to but she's just in terrific form and he's a jockey on an absolute high Damien lane peter wins a fourth one of course, Black Caviar with a couple, of course. But absolutely a brilliant ride by Damien. But challenge left, right and centre. And for Peter Moody, the Ramsey connection, that connection with this filly will be very, very special. Incredibly important. The Ramsey's put so much into racing. Those colours are iconic. They're iconic not only in racing, but for Peter as well. He's had so many horses with the family. And I'm sure that Peter Moody will be absolutely ecstatic. Uh, an extra little kick along there, Richo. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Pete just saying, hey, can I just have a quick chat to Mac?